Hi, I'm Chuck at Oxbreak and we're doing something new today. As many of you know, we have said the day will come when we will have a completely assembled, bled, ready to install system for the Yamaha. We are now going to install on the Yamaha today. We're at BRP Billet Racing Products in Colorado Springs. The system is pre-bled, as I mentioned. It requires no bleeding, only installation. And it's simple as you will see in this video. The tools that are required for the installation is a 21 millimeter, a 7 millimeter, a 5 millimeter, a 6 millimeter Allen wrench, an 8 millimeter, and a 10 millimeter socket. Well, I do want to call your attention to some information that is on the back of the cylinder. There's a couple items. Number one, this system is designed for mineral oil only. No DOT4, no 5.1. It's also, we want to let you know, it's designed for off-road use only. Yes, it is made in USA. It is totally made here. We're going to put the hand lever next to the grip on the left side. We're not going to tighten it down. That will be positioned later. But you'll want to use the hand lever in a position that is comfortable for you. For the moment, that's as snug as we're going to make it. First thing we need to do is to pass the cylinder and the hose in front of the steering head and behind all the control cables. Yeah, oh yeah, there we go. That's what we want, oh yeah. Let's review once again the routing of the hydraulic line. In front of the steering head, behind the control cables, under the side panel, behind the main part of the frame, between the gas chamber and the shock absorber, outside of the subframe, and it will end up right there. So the next thing we need to do is to remove the two screws on top of the rear brake cylinder and install the mounting plate for the aux brake cylinder. The, the hole obviously goes to the rear of the cylinder and the hole for the front screw has been modified to allow you to put the screw in without a lot of extra effort. We have the front screw in, we'll now install the rear and tighten them down. And now we're going to install the arm that is actuated by this rod. So, not all shafts are the same diameter. It is either a six millimeter or an eight millimeter. 
This particular unit is a six millimeter. So in your kit, you will find not only the arm, but also a reducer to take the eight millimeter hole that is machined here. It is recessed so that when you put the adapter in, it ends up being flush. There's no ridges, it's flush. Okay, now we're going to put the arm on and the arm will go right here, like that. To do that, we pull the pin from the clevis. We remove the cylinder. You can do it with a cylinder on, but it's much easier if you just remove the cylinder. Place the arm over the shaft and reinstall the clevis. Once that is put in place, we'll want to tighten it down with this jam nut. Now that we've got it positioned with the clevis back underneath the arm, we'll reinstall the cylinder to the chassis. Now we've got the arm installed, the clevis is attached on the bottom. Take the hydro cylinder and remove the cap. No fluid will come out. Rotate the arm out, slide the rod through it, push it back in and locate it right in the position that is one position. It'll only go in one way. And it is now now positioned. If the hydraulic line is anywhere close to the exhaust, slightly loosen the banjo screw with a four millimeter Allen wrench and rotate it away from the hot exhaust. You really would like to have at least a half inch from the hose to the exhaust on the four stroke. Two stroke is not as critical. Now, don't forget to put your clevis pin in. That allows the brake to work. It's operating as it did prior to the installation of the aux brake system. Again, should this fail, this system will never fail as a result of this. Our final step will be to install the clamp that will link the hydro cylinder to the arm. The clamp is, is adjustable. We can, we can tell how, how much movement's gonna be required right there. And we just need to make sure that it is never adjusted to where there is no free travel. There's free travel there. If there's no free travel, it can restrict the flow of the fluid and it will cause the rear brake to heat. As a final step, you want to secure this jam nut. That will put the arm in place and it will not move. As a final test and to make sure everything's in place, pulling the hand lever after it has been secured to the handlebar. 
pulling it gives you an absolute stop. The hand lever will stop, and when it stops, the rear wheel will stop. It can be adjusted to fit your power. As you can see, at this time, it's going almost all the way to the handlebar. We'll now adjust the small adjuster right here on the lever. And that's, that changed it. That's as far as I can pull it. I can't pull it any farther. That is a full lockup on the rear wheel right there. So remember this adjuster. You'll figure out which way to turn it to get it to be farther from the bar or closer to the bar. Either way, where you have the most power in your hand, that's where you want to adjust it. We've now installed your aux brake. It's very simple. It's logical. Just follow these easy instructions. You have full support of our technical staff. You'll have the information for the telephone number as well as the internet email. Thank you once again and enjoy your ride. It's going to be all different now that you control your brakes with your hand.